Hi there, my name is Nelly Yam, and today we're playing Factorio. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, oh, we had this little silly timer. Um, uh, but, unfortunately, it is currently just uh, not going to work because it is... Uh, this timer will never stop because the condition here is that C, which is the essentially the the combination of either uh, there is less than 100 uh, copper plates in this chest, which there are. There's a zero or one or two. Um, or uh, there is a train at the station, which is not true, but since it is an or, uh, A or B, either there is less than 100 or there is a train. Uh, it's an or, but that means that this is true. Currently, there is less than a hundred plates in uh, the thing, and the reason it's sort of stagnant or it's sort of staggered like this is because this inserter doesn't empty or start emptying until this is actually full. So it's just sitting there waiting for it to be full. Blah blah blah. But basically, I think what we're gonna have to do is say, um, I think I'm gonna t basically take another. This I'm just again. We're still winging it. Don't worry. Um, I haven't suddenly figured out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so don't don't you worry. Um, okay. I th I think. I don't know. I just want to see if this will work. Actually. All right, I'm going to take a, yes, arithmetic combinator, put that, oh gosh, here maybe, <laughs> I just, well, all right, no, no, I was, I was hesitant to build another one of these guys, but that's silly. Let's make another one of these, just so we can separate these a little bit. All right, I'm going to put another arithmetic combinator, we're going to put another one of those boys, I'm going to go ahead and connect this to this, and then... I don't know why necessarily. I think I actually want these to go straight on, but because I want to say this to this, and I want to say do uh, do do, the copper is zero. If the copper is zero, um, then I want to output. We'll just say D. <laughs> I will, you know, if if I ever actually use this for anything, we will. Uh, you know, hopefully sort of consolidate our uh, output variables. We'll say that's true. Um, so if this is if this is true, you can see it kind of boop flashing in and out here. And then I'm going to put, I think, I think if I take this and I say A and C, um, and then if I say, uh, um, oh, this has an output uh, C. So if I say in here, if C or uh, D, then E. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, exclusive or maybe? No. Or maybe. Let's try that. Let's try it X or. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously winging it. All right, I'm gonna disconnect this for a second, and I'm actually gonna connect this to that. Oh, meow. Um, they have to. One has to be not true. So what if I say not equal to zero? Really? Okay. So equal to zero. D is currently not one. C is currently one. 
Right. Oh, wait. C is one. Oh, right. So not equal? Oh, sure. <laughs> right, there's more to this. Okay, so I want D. D? D? E. I want it to work when E is true. When E is not true? <laughs> Too many dub double negatives that I'm building for myself here. Okay, so... This, I want it to be when this is empty. I am sure there's a better way to do this. I don't care. <laughs> uh, when this is empty. Output. Don't output anything. And then this will become. I guess, I mean, I guess it. <laughs> Is zero? Stop. No. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna reconsider the entire thing. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Alright, so let me disconnect everything. Let's just get nothing nothing matters. Um so I would like, and I have a feeling this green doesn't really matter. All right, so, oh no, I actually did need that green, but that's okay. Um, I know, I guess I didn't. So, I would like, so basically I want it to do nothing until the train gets there. Uh, let me just take this down for a second so we can re sort of reset this thing without freaking out. And then, um, actually, I'll just take the, let's take the plates out. Um, so, okay. So, <laughs> we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. Um, train is there. Plate or. Uh. To do. do 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 only I essentially only want this to work okay so Do 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 do. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm. 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 I'm getting there. My brain's. My brain's formulating. I promise. Um. So. There's a hundred. We're just gonna use our imaginations because everything is just gonna start running if I actually do it. There's a hundred copper plates in here. Therefore. Uh. Don't run until a train gets here, and then trigger something. Right. Uh, it still doesn't actually make any sense because I don't want to disable this station ever. Um, so I just want to disable it for that train, not any of the other trains. <laughs> so what is happening over here? What are you upset about? Oh, there's a there's a train in your way. Okay, that makes sense. Um. This is dumb. All right, so why does it still look you have? Oh no, that's just I think that's normal for the poles. Um. Okay. I gotta figure out what the send a train thing means. I think that's that's gonna be important. So let's just say. I'm just gonna say for now. Uh, I'm just gonna take the cider, or just the information, I guess. Let's just take the contents of the chest, 
and then send them to the thing. That's all I'm going to do. Right? And then I'm going to just send, say, send a train. Problem is, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Why, what, what, how does it, it gets it information somehow? Tell me. Okay. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what that means. Like, I guess I gotta send a, oh, there are signals, aren't there? Um, it's interesting that that signals, 9.6 9 thousand. Open train menu. Okay, clearly I need to send something else here. So if I say RoboPort interface, that doesn't seem particularly helpful to me. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really know what that means. I don't really know what send to train is actually sending to the train and how to actually action on any of that, you know? Cause like it's doing its thing, that's lovely. What would I send to the train that is actually interesting? So why don't I go... here. So that's getting that 9.6 thousand. So what is it's an amount? Uh, let's just say more than five thousand, just so that that's definitely true. And then, like one uh, dot signal, info signal, check signal. That these I don't think actually mean anything though. I assume these are just uh, they're just variables, right? I guess this is different because like blue signal dots. I assume these don't actually do anything different, but everything surely does. If all output signals meet the condition, it will output true. If it it is true when there are no inputs. I don't really know what that means, but I essentially just want stop. <laughs> that obviously doesn't mean anything. Um. So I send that, and I say send train, and now that's one red. So like, uh, can you not? Let's find out. Let's find out if it can not. I don't think it can not not. Um, I assume what this is going to do is just happily go back there, because I don't think I've told this anything of any particular interest. <laughs> uh, but let's find out. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't care at all. So what is that? What does send to train mean? What do you mean by send? Sends the contents of the circuit network to the train so they can be used for awake conditions, if you say so. What are awake conditions? Oh, wait conditions. I'm a dummy. Um, I should be able to figure out what that. Slow, slow down. Okay, wait conditions. Hey, how about that circuit condition? There we go. Um, but I don't know. So coal pit stop. Circuit condition. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> But again, I don't think this, I don't think this tells me, I don't think there's any way for me to use this to tell it, like, uh, so red is greater than 5,000, which is true. So when it stops, it's gonna turn green. So that's lovely and everything. Interesting. I 
figured this would have turned green. Is that not true? It's 9.6 thousand. Oh no, I didn't actually... Oh no. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, that's not actually true. Um... Is, uh, one. <laughs> Less, uh, greater two or equal than to one. So yeah, uh, I assume what's gonna happen is that it's gonna stop at the station, and then it's gonna be like, I did it, and it's gonna immediately leave. Because it met one of its conditions, right? I can set it to and or whatever. I'm just, I just wanna test this and see that this is in fact what's happening. This should immediately turn green, and it should just immediately bounce. Green, gone. Okay, cool. So, not what I want, but at least I figured out what it is. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's something. Okay, don't want that. Um, retrain contents, retrain count, enable train limit. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, there must be a way to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure it out, though. Because disabling the train is not, or the station is not what I want to do. I just want to tell that train and any trains like it to not have this as an option temporarily. And I don't know how to do that. Because, <laughs> um, what is happening here? Oh boy. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> um, Because this is the same stop, I think that might be part of my problem here. Because I want it to try to be both a, the station where the coal gets dropped off and where the trains come to refuel. And I think that might be the problem. Because I can set the train limits all day, but it won't matter if I set the train limit to one. That might, that will allow, right? Theoretically, that will get, theoretically, you'd find a sit yourself in a situation where the train I want to come here, just a train, right? Let's just say this train. I want this train to come and refuel. It would let that train in if, say, the train limit was set to one. And then maybe it would happen where it was right at the same time as this guy. So this guy couldn't go there. Uh, but I assume if I have this set to one, it's not that this is, that's now the only train that can ever go there. I assume only one train can be trying to go there at any given moment, right? Because I feel like otherwise, sort of, what's the point? Because, like, if it's only ever this train, <laughs> then... No other train can try to go here? Ever? But anyway, if I have this set to one, I assume what's going to happen. I'm not, again, I, I might be wrong about all of this. But I assume what's going to happen is that trains that try to come and refuel here happily will. However, uh, they will. And they might interrupt the refueling train from coming here sometimes. But... Not consistently. This train will still be able to arrive here, I assume, whenever it wants, which will be every time. So I think what I need to do instead is, and again, I might be wrong about this, but I think because of what I'm trying to do, this might not actually be possible, maybe, to have the train be both the drop-off and the refueling station and disable it for just the refueling train and let any other train show up whenever they want. 
those four things at the same time may not be possible, <laughs> which is a lot. It's a lot to try to accomplish. And another problem I'm sort of mulling over as I as I sort of quote unquote realize this is that I don't really ever want to even have to deal with a scenario in which these inserters try to take anything out of the trains that are just trying to coming to refuel, right? It wouldn't if it was right if it wasn't coal. But even trains that maybe have coal in their first car, I don't want it to be like, oh, cool, you've got coal, I'll take it. I don't ever want that to happen. So I want trains to be able to come and stop at these stations, irrespective of what they have or may may have in their uh, cargo. So I think the smartest thing to try to solve this problem is to, in fact, just put a station here. <laughs> And this is where trains to come to refuel. This is where the train goes to drop the coal off. So then I can disable this station. Uh, that does, still doesn't necessarily solve the problems that I'm trying to overcome right now, where I'm trying to figure out how do I do that in a sort of a round robin-y kind of way. But that I think will at least solve enough of the problems that where I can sort of maybe realistically, like maybe my timer thing will work now, right? Where I disable the station for a certain amount of time and then re-enable it, um, whether it's a hundred iron copper plates or not, you know, I can, I can do that. And then, but regardless of what's going on here and whether or not this train can come and refuel, trains can always stop here to get more coal. See what I'm saying? So I think, I think that's actually the Smartest play, <laughs> I think. So, um, let's see if I let's see if that makes sense and if I can make that happen um, in a meaningful way. So, I think what I'm going to do is tweak this only just a, a skosh and basically just bring this over here, just like that. We'll get a little bit of power going on over here. We'll get a little bit of insert action there. And basically, we're done. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this, actually, Coal Refuel. And um, and then theoretically, if this makes more sense for all of these other trains, <laughs> um, they'll go here instead. So. Um, and then, oh yeah, look at that. This, this apparently this guy wanted to I don't I don't know if that I don't know why I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna make the most sense at any point for everybody but but it's there ooh I don't like that I didn't love how long that guy had to wait so we're gonna tweak this just a touch here um so we'll go ahead and put a couple more here just so that trains can move a little bit more smoothly through that corridor all right, so, and if this is how they all have to look, I think that's semi-acceptable, right? We can do the same thing down here, where uh, drop-off is here, pick-up is here. That should be, that should be pretty much fine. So, okay, so that solves, I think, one big, one major part of the conundrum I was having, where uh, I need to be able to stop this guy, and I, I think really the only realistic way of stopping this guy is disabling the station, which now doesn't matter because it won't stop people from coming into this station. So anyway, okay. So now the other part of the problem, which is how do I do it? <laughs> and I kind of like my timer problem. So, uh, or timer, timer, uh, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Let's call it a pattern as if we're real programmers. Okay, so what? what's with the blue circle? Get out of here, blue circle. No one asked you. All right, so uh, let's reconsider here. Is this always going to be the most appropriate one? It doesn't matter. Um, so let, because the whole point of this is that these things can be anywhere and they won't need a coal supply near them in terms of like, it doesn't, I don't need to make sure and put it near a coal, you know, uh, like this one, the one that's over here, right? This one just gets coal from the coal mine, essentially. So. Um, I guess in a way it's the same thing. It's a still a train, but all right, that one stopped there. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I like it. So 
Um, we're gonna do this again. So, but now, now this I think is more viable. I don't love <laughs> the traffic. So we might have to reconsider how this handles this, but through trains should be able to happily go along this track if uh, they're trying to get through. So I assume this guy wants coal. Nope, he doesn't. I don't know why I didn't take this track, but it didn't. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, maybe I wonder if I actually have these set up wrong. It doesn't seem so. I think a train coming this way can take this track. They seem to never do that, though. So I wonder if I actually... I can remember when I had this one set up wrong. All the track seems to be flowing into itself correctly. He's happy to do that. So clearly you can get from here over to here. But I wonder why that one that was stopped over here... Maybe just made the decision. So maybe another thing here might help to get that. Yeah, why did it do that as opposed to go this way? Like maybe it thinks that's more efficient and maybe it is, but like I'm sort of surprised it didn't go that way if it wanted that inside rail. And I don't think I see anything. Not that I would always be able to see an, an issue, but like, it looks okay. And I kind of feel like I would see, you know, I feel like there would be some sort of weird hitch here where one of these would be like a different color or this guy would be flashing yellow or something. I don't know. I don't really know. All right. Anyway, not gonna worry about that. We're trying to count stuff. So, we got 100 things in here. And I want to essentially, like, I want something that basically says, is it 100 or is it zero? No, can't do that either. What I need is something that latches. So when it's 100, this thing turns on and stays on. And then when it hits zero, that thing turns off and stays off. And only in those two extremes does that happen. That's what I need. So, um, uh, can I set, can I set a constant number? I don't know if I can set a constant number. So like, if I take a, Decider here and I say hey, dude When the copper plates are equal to zero output uh, a And that's true now and I say boom, I don't know what that means <laughs> uh, Let's talk well like uh, a is one. A is one. It's because it's constant. It, this doesn't make any sense. This is just a constant. Um. So I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I basically just need to set something to a value. Like what? What happens if I just connect this to this? Is there anything I can do here? Read the contents of the container and sends it to the circuit network. Okay, so I don't seem to be able to input anything into this necessarily, so I'm not entirely sure what I could do there. Um, so I don't want it to change. I want it to turn on. Okay, maybe a power switch used to control the connection of this electric network can also be controlled by the circuit network. That could also be potentially useful in some circumstances. I don't like, because like I was thinking about that. I was thinking about cutting power to this when I wanted it quote unquote off. But wouldn't you just get a bunch of little flashing power things? Maybe not. Maybe it knows that it's being switched off and not broken. Um, Because that could be another easy way to do it, right? You just put a little power switch in between these two 
in between these two guys and just turn the whole thing off. Um, but I just didn't want the flashing numbers, but I, I didn't try it. So, all right. Anyway, um, so when this is zero, I just want to record that to a variable. So I want to just set something. <laughs> how would I do that? That seems pretty simple. And oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. And I don't really know how. So a. Hmm. <laughs> a. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, input signal is A1, so I just say A, I suppose. Now it's A1. Even though it's time zero, it still says A1, but who knows why that happens. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. So. I could theoretically turn this thing on, but I feel like, like I guess I could just use, I could, I, 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 this always feels like a silly idea, but I guess I could just use a series of chests, <laughs> right? I could say, I could do this where this just has a thing in it. Um, so let's say A is uh, equal to one, uh, or a, uh, copper plates is equal to zero, and then, which it is, so we'll connect that to that, and we'll say uh, A is uh, one. Cool, and so now this should be on, it is, and then um, we basically then just say is the contents of this, let's say it's, um, what do I have in my inventory? Let's say it's uh, wood. Um, is the wood uh, greater than zero? If so, output B. And then, um, if B is true, then we'll turn this guy on. So this guy can say is B greater than zero. And currently it's not, but if I put a wood in here, that'll get moved over. And now this is on. So, you see what I'm saying? That's not quite right because that's actually not what we want to do. I'd actually want to turn that off in this instance, but you see what I'm saying? So this might be my little latch. And then, is that silly? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it is actually. Is there like a double? Is there like a bi-directional one? Or is there a cheeky way to do a little bi-directional thing? that doesn't involve like this. It'd be nice if I could just move stuff back and forth. Is there a way to do that? In like a, in like a one line kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if you can put these, it'd be nice if you could do like little double chests. That'd be cool. So you can move stuff back and forth between them. Um, Maybe you can, I don't know. Will steel chests go become two? I don't think they will. Anyway, not important. So I guess I could use train cars. <laughs> <laughs> this could get this could get really weird how weird do we want this I could do that and I could say take a train car and put it here or I guess not if I don't have enough track and then this is my chest and now I can have an inserter that moves it out and moves it in <laughs> from another train car oh man all right anyway this is dumb so 
<laughs> but I think this is gonna do what I want. We'll see. It's gonna be kind of silly, kind of complicated. We'll see if I can get it get it working. But I think I think I'm there. I think I can see the path forward to get this to work at least the way I'm imagining. We'll see if that ends up being useful or anything like that. But I think we've got something. <laughs> Oh man, I'm loving this. I love this kind of junk. Alright, anyway, uh, but I think that's gonna have to do it for this episode. When I come back with more Factorio, we will hopefully get this actually functioning, quote unquote, the way I want it to be functioning. And then theoretically we'll be able to disable this station for when the timer is going. And then once the timer is done and resets, it'll turn the station back on. And hopefully by that point, the train has gone to the other station or to some other stations. We can play around with the timing and see if, like, how long makes sense. Is it 100 to copper? Is it 200 copper? Is it 10 stacks of copper? I don't know. Um, we'll find out uh, as we play around with this thing. But I think I want to set that to one at least so it moves them one at a time, and then we will go ahead and figure out what on heck is happening. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you again, and I hope you have an incredible day. Okay, bye! Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.